Hi everyone, John here for this video. Uh, this video looks at converting fractions to decimals and then also rounding decimals to, uh, to decimal places and whole numbers. So we have three questions here, feel free to skip to the question you're interested in which is indicated in red. Question one in this video is, we're going to look at turning these fractions into decimals. Now, I'll just give you a heads up on these. These will be what we call recurring decimals, and I'll explain what that is later on. Now, we, we, we learned previously how to turn fractions into decimals, but I'll, I'll recap on that. Okay, so let's look at the first one. One divided by three. Now, when we're dividing two numbers, we like to write it like this, with this little divide sign, with the one in there. Now... <clears throat> for this, I can write it as 1, or I can also write it as 1.0, that's still 1, or I can write it as 1.00, or I can write it as 1.00, and I could keep writing that the whole way along. I'll just keep it to 3 for now, and you'll see why I did that a little bit later on. Okay, so when you're dividing um, a decimal, you put the decimal point straight above it again. Now, how many times does 3 go into 1? Well, it doesn't, so that's 0, and the 1 remainder... Now, how many times does 3 go into 10? Well, 3 goes into 10 3 times, and it was 3 times 3 is 9, and 1 remainder. Let's go again. How many times does 3 go into 10? Well, it goes into 3 times, and 1 remainder. How many times does 3 go into 10? So you'll start to see here, this is a pattern. This is just going to continue for, for an infinite amount of zeros. And this is why, I mean, this is a recurring decimal. It's 0 0.3333333, as long as I can say it, or I could say it as 0 0.33 recurring. And you might see that written as, this can be written as a number of ways, or two main ways I think I know of. It's either written as that, or it can be written as uh, 33 with a little dot at the top. And that means 0 0.33 recurring, so it's just going to continue to recur like that. Okay, let's look at the second one now. Same process, so I'm going to go 6... I'll give a bit of room here. I was a bit squashed before. Alright, so 6 and 5. Now, I'm not going to... I'm going to write 5 as 5.000. And you'll start to recognise these questions and you'll learn to do this. I'm going to write it four times this time. Okay, how many times does 6 go into 5? Oh, firstly, before I do that, I raise this decimal point directly above. Now how many times does 6 go into 5? None. Carry the 5. How many times does 6 go into 50? Well, 6 times 8 is 48, so it goes in 8 times with a 2 remainder. How many times does 6 go into 20? It goes in 3 times with 2 left over. 6 times 3 is 18. Now how many times does 6 go into 20? Three times with two remainder. How many times does six go into 20? So if I kept doing that, I would still get 333. This is slightly different because this one's 0 0.83333. So I can't write it like that because that would mean, uh, I'll, I'll just branch off a bit, that would mean, it would mean that I'm um, recurring 0.8333, which I'm not. I'm only recurring the threes, okay? So just, just be cautious of that. So instead of writing the line above it all, I just write the line above the part that is recurring, okay? Or I think you can also write it as 0 0.833 with a little dash there for recurring. Oh, that's a little, yeah, same as that. All right, last one. Seven into, do I fit on the screen here? Yep, okay, three point, I'm gonna do four zeros again. Okay, raise that decimal straight away. How many times does seven go into three? Well, none, carry the three. How many times does seven go into 30? Well, seven times four is 28. So that's gonna be four there, and it's gonna be leave two remainder. How many times does seven go into 20? 
7 goes into 20 twice with 6 remainder. Because 7 times 2 is 14. How many times does 7 go into 60 now? Well, 7 goes into 60... 7 times 8 is 56. So it's going to go 8 times and it's going to be 4 remainder. I might need a few more zeros here, I'm starting to realise. Okay, I just readjusted the board. I've realised I'm going to need a few more zeros here. This is going to be a bit of a longer recurring. I didn't realise when I did the question. So I'm going to give myself a couple more zeros here. So look, we're up to how many times does 7 go into 40? Well, 7 fives are 35. It's going to be 5 up here and 5 remainder. How many times does 7 go into 50? Well, 7 times 7 is 49. So I know that's going to be 7 there with a 1 remainder. Now, 7 into 10 goes once with a uh, 3 remainder. Still in view? Yep, we're good. Okay, 3 remainder. So how many times does 7 go into 30? Uh, well, that's 4 with a 2 remainder. And now, you might start seeing a little pattern here. How many times does 7 go into 20? So 7 goes into 22 times. Now, for the sake of the, for the length of this question, I'll just cut it there. Um, you could keep going, but you'll realise that this 0.48, uh, sorry, 0.428571 is the recurring part. Now, this is a bit of a difficult question, and has a bit of a long recurring, but it's good to know. So this would, if I continued, would keep going 428571, and so on. So, my final answer here would be 0 0.428571. And that's what gets recurring, and I would draw a line over all of it. Now, in this question, we're asked to round to two decimal places. Now, what this means, I want to be cutting the number off or shortening the number to two numbers after the decimal point. So let's use this first one as an example. Here's a decimal point. One number, two number. I want to reduce this number so that it just finishes here, so that this is no longer there, okay? But I can't just straight away go and just rub this out. I also need to consider the next number, all right? So if, if you're rounding to two decimal places, you're considering the third number after the decimal point. If you're rounding to three decimal places, you'll be considering the fourth number of the decimal point, number after the decimal point. Now, this extra number, I'll call it extra number, if it is, 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, you're going to leave the last number the same. So, 0 to 4, stay the same. If it is 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, so you will plus 1 to the number. Okay. So what I mean by plus one, it means that I'm is I'm rounding to this last number. I'm rounding up one to this last number. This might sound confusing. I'll do some examples, okay? So I'll just rub this out for some room. So let's go to the first one. 17.0071. I want to round this to two decimal places. So it's going to be 17. Point zero. This is going to be the last number, but I also need to consider the third number. Well, it's between 5 and 9, so I'm going to be adding 1 to this last number. So 0 plus 1 is 1. And there's our answer to the first one. Let's have a look at the second. 4.4. 4. I can't write this number yet. I've got, I've got to consider the next number. So it's 4.444. 4. 4. Well, this is between 0 and 4, so you leave this number the same. Okay? And there's our answer to the second one. Okay, example 3 now. We're going to be rounding this number to two decimal places again. Now, I'm going to go straight and have a look at this third number. Okay? So this third number is 6. It's between 5 and 9. So we know that I'm going to be adding 1 to the second number after the decimal point, the number that we're trying to round to. So I'm going to put a little plus 1 here. Now, if you add 9 and 1, you'll get 10. So instead of writing 9 plus 1, I'll write a little 10 underneath it. 
but I, I, I can't have 10 here because I'm trying to round to two decimal places. That will mean I'll have 78.110, but this is three decimal places. So we need to do something else here, and I'll show you, it's just a little trick. Instead of writing 10, I can write it as a zero and add one to this next column. One and one is two. So now my answer will be 78.20. Now the fourth question is pretty similar, but there's another little trick to it. So let's have a look at this one now. 78.9963. I'll just give myself a little room. I'll, I'll, I, might, I might write a little bit bigger down here. Because this is pretty important, this one. All right. So I'm rounding to two decimal places again. So let's look at the third number, because it's the one after the two. Six again. So I'm going to be adding plus one. And again, it's nine. So nine... We can't write it as 10. So instead of writing as 10, I'm going to rub out the 10. Ooh, pen's gone flying. I'll write it as 0, and I'll add my 1 here. There we go. Problem solved. But problem isn't solved. Oh, I realize I'm a bit out of screen here. My problem isn't solved because I've got another 9 here. So if I add the 1 and the 9, I'll get 10 again. And... That's, that, that, that brings us back to our problem before. So again, I've got to now rub this 10 out. I'm going to leave that as 0, and I've got to add a 1 up here. So now my final answer will be 79.00. So this is still rounding to two decimal places, and it's important to leave your 0, 0.00, because this is a two decimal place answer. And that's the answer to this question. Question 3, we're rounding to whole numbers now. Now, if you didn't have a look at question two and you're confused about rounding, then maybe you have a skip back. When I say whole numbers, you're basically saying rounding to no decimal places. So instead of saying rounding to two decimal places, like in question two, we're now trying to just have no decimal places. We're basically cutting the number off here. Now, similar to last time, you can't just cut it off. You need to consider the next number. So if we ran into whole numbers, we need to consider the first number after the decimal point. So this one here and this one here. And same rule as question two. If it's between zero and four, you round down or, or stay the same, means the same thing. Ooh. And if it's between five and nine, you round up or Add one means the same thing. So this number here is three, so we're going to be leaving the five the same. This one here, the six is between five and nine, so we're going to be adding one here, 29 plus one is 30. There we go, pretty simple.